The power of Mother Nature hit very close to home for a young man alive to tell a miraculous tale tonight. Chuck Strickler has the story you'll see only on 10 TV. Chuck. Well, Kristen, the Rudder family, about 10 of them in all, were enjoying a weekend of camping at Mohican State Park near Loudonville when all of a sudden their world changed in an instant. And for 20-year-old Brandon Rudder, it's a moment that changed his life forever. Oh, I had no idea what was happening. It was nothing but fear. Brandon Rudder recounts the scare of his life. Out of nowhere, lightning just struck this tree. First, he was blinded by a fireball of light. My vision went white, just pure white. You couldn't see nothing. Then a loud boom as the tree exploded around him and a half dozen other family members. He remembers when the first splintered piece of flying wood like shrapnel hit him in the head, knocking him flat to the ground. I thought everything was over. It was definitely worse than a battlefield. I got to tell you that. Brandon's dad, Michael, was in the family camper when the lightning hit, but in seconds was out the door to help. It was screaming and people crying. And then he found Brandon buried in broken tree limbs. His eyes were wide open and I thought he was dead. There was one point that Brandon looked at me and said, he said, I'm scared, dad. And I said, no, I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to get you right, get you, get you help. Brandon suffered four skull fractures, a neck injury, and bleeding in the brain. Surgeons used a titanium plate to put his shattered bones back together. How could you call it anything short of a miracle? Every doctor's told me I'm lucky to be where I am. Lucky to be able to talk about this changing moment in his life he will never take for granted again. After what I've just gone through, I can't say that tomorrow is a guarantee. God, just live it up while you can. Good advice for everybody. Ironically, Brandon was supposed to start working at a lumber company of all places this week. That is, of course, put on hold as he recovers in the hospital. He should be getting out in the next week and a half, and doctors are giving him a very good prognosis. Live in the studio, Chuck Strickler, 10TV News.